Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Thank you for joining me online for this week's mini sutra. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the wisdom of Rango. Now, I hope you've seen the movie Rango, and if you haven't, please do watch it. I, I, highly, I highly recommend it. It is a movie that is all about enlightenment, the journey to enlightenment and beyond within this life, the role that we are to play. Um, the, it's an animated film, and the lead character's name is Rango, that is voiced by Johnny Depp. Now, as we're going along the movie, uh, Rango eventually finds himself in the place of enlightenment, and, and when he's uh, reached enlightenment, he meets the spirit of the West, who happens to look an awful lot like Clint Eastwood from The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and um, they have a conversation. Now, Rango does not know who he is, and this actually is uh, exactly what needs to happen. You see, if you know who you are, in that, you know, you think, well, I think I'm Kavita, and I think um, I have certain qualities and what have you. What I'm describing to you is my ego, my ego identity, okay? It's not actually who I am. When I well and truly know who I am, I will know that I am everything and I am nothing, okay? And so Rango gets there, and he doesn't know who he is anymore because his ego essentially has been torn away from him. And he's talking about what has gone on to this point, and he says, my friends, they need a hero. And the Spirit of the West says, then go be a hero. And he says, no, no, you don't understand. I'm not even supposed to be here. And the Spirit of the West surprises him because he says, yes. He says, yes, you're not supposed to be here. He said, don't you see? You've come a long way for something that isn't here. He said, don't you see? It's not about you. And this is incredible wisdom. But we need to heed. In yoga, we have something called dharma. And your dharma is your duty. It's the role you are to play. And we all have several dharmas. But the big overarching dharma is that we are here to be of service to others. That when we are well and truly in the state of dharma, we are not thinking about ourselves, our ego identity. We are unconcerned with what our ego wants. We're not there to serve our egoic needs. We are there to be of service in the way we were built. Now, along the path of enlightenment, people very often ask themselves, well, you know, what am I supposed to be doing? What is my path? What is my role? What is my dharma? And they try to find it. And what I say to them is that you need to actually follow your gifts and your passions. Now, here's the thing. Remember when Rango says, I'm not even supposed to be here? He got there by pursuing his passion. So he was a, a theatric, <laughs> okay? So he got there by pursuing his passions, by the things that appear to be serving him. And then he suddenly ended up in a place where it wasn't about him. And this is what we have to understand, is that our gifts and our passions, we are to pursue them but they are simply to get us to the place where we will meet those we are to serve. The good news is, because you're following your gifts and your passions, you will enjoy that process, okay? But they are there, they're the vehicles, they are the direction signs, they are to get you to where you are to serve, okay? But once you get there, it's not about you. I hope that was helpful, everyone. Uh, it's always a pleasure being here with you every week. If you've got questions, please do ask them. If you've got comments, please do do put them down. So put them down in the comment section, either your questions or your comments. I do keep track and I do read them. If there's something you'd like to hear more about, please let me know as well, because I'm here to serve you. Okay? And I look forward to seeing you again online very, very soon. Namaste.